It's good fun. Days like these are, are great. You get the whole industry together. Um, and to have you know, companies um, and corporations like Interbet and Cape Racing who are uh, so generous with um, sort of time and, um, and energy into, into making a day like this possible, is, uh, it's, it's fantastic for everyone. Race number five is a merit rated 77 handicap. The distance is 1,000 meters. Races five, six, seven, and eight will be jackpot two, 14.45, a quarter to three. And we got 11 runners at the time of recording this show. So take note uh, if there are any scratchings, etc. By the time you get your bets on, on the day, and uh, we mentioned that the exotics are gonna be paying handsomely uh, this afternoon at Hollywood Bets Gravel. This race, I'd like to just uh, narrow down my selections to in numerical order. Ryle once in order of preference at the end of the show, I will give it, but uh, three, four, five, six, and 11. Five runners going with the rule. If it was more than five, it would be in the field. So I've narrowed my selections down to three, four, five, six, and 11 in uh, numerical order. And I just want to touch on my selections and then we can touch on if there's anything else you like. Mallorca Palace, Carl Hudson, Sean Veal, course and distance winner, three-time winner on the poly track, always runs an honest race. Yes, he's always there and thereabouts. He's a made him a horse to watch out for. He's slowly coming down in the ratings. He's on a mark of uh, 77. Sean Veal knows him well. I think the race is going to be run to suit you. They're going to go a hard tempo up front. He's neatly drawn. Sean Veal will be able to slot him in to a nice position. And Mallorca Palace, he'll be doing his best work at the business end of things. Horse number four, one too many. I think he's a massive run in this lineup. He's only had three starts to date. He won on debut, beating Gold and Sign. His post-maiden efforts haven't been bad at all. He's been beaten under length in his penultimate run. And then last time out, Blaze of Silk won a nice race. But, but uh, one too many did run after rest. He's going to strip a much fitter horse here. And he'll be right there at the business end of things. Number five, Hampton Court is the poly specialist uh, and uh, a course and distance specialist as well. On his day, he's quick, but I watched these races and he doesn't like to be challenged. He likes things his own way. You know, if a horse comes next to him and challenges him, he, he tends to over race and dig his toes in. I actually remember his penultimate start, the reason that he got beat that day as well. So he'll need a lot to go his way with front running tactics, but he's the horse that uh, you guaranteed, if he gets to the front with a soft lead, you're gonna get a very good run for your money. Horse number five, Hampton Court. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm in full agreement with you on that. And Gareth Wright gets on extremely well with him. Six rides, two wins, two seconds, and two farts. Horse number six, Ironbark, is actually is the horse that challenged uh, Hampton Court on that occasion. Ironbark, how do you think he could possibly run? Uh, this is my roughie for the exotics. I, I like this horse. I think the weight down would move the any up, a rating drop further from a 69 to a 66 after a fair effort last time out behind a horse that came tumbling down in the ratings in Woodstock Festival. And then uh, this horse, uh, imitation game, Lorenzo Karim is in wonderful form. And nice to see that, you know, he's not only uh, training, I don't know if it is uh, something that's car uh, that a decision's been made, I'll have to speak to him about it because I haven't, because we know that he trades for Mario Ferreira off the farm with Den Des Gonzales, but I see he's got a horse here uh, for uh, Michelle Janssen and uh, uh, Kay Soul, who's uh, keen and soul, so uh, this son of Var joins his stable, and nice to see if, he, if he's He's also branching out and training for uh, other owners as well. It just, you know, gives him an, an avenue to get more horses. Absolutely. He's getting his name out there and he's in some good form at the moment. He's uh, booting home those winners and it's a good start to his uh, sort of a uh, training campaign for him. One more horse that I want to throw in is horse number nine, just the guy thing. He's in some incredible form. He won his last two starts in really, in really nice fashion. Yes, Rachel Vinica were aboard on both those occasions and taking the one and a half off the back. But he is a horse that does run well over the 1,000 meter trip. He has won three times from his 10 tries over the course and distance. Warren Kennedy is riding at the top of his game. So just a guy thing, I think he must be included as well. He's 
Yeah, you're going for three in, three in the bounce, you're in good form, the handicapper is giving you extra points each time you win. You'll have to raise your game to the next level, but you, then you've got Rachel Vinica, who uh, is taking off one and a half kg. So going for three in a row, tough for a, a horse that's uh, now, you know, he's a five-year-old, but he's in the form of his career, one could think, number five, just a guy thing. He demands the utmost respect. So my numbers there, Ryan, I'm going to go order of preference now. I'm going to give you five runners, because that's my five horses for the pick six. Uh, five, three, six, four, and 11. You can go top three or top four. I'm going to go three, four, and nine D. So those will be the three numbers that I do play around in race number five on the card. I'm looking for a uh, fair result. In, I'm not looking for any upsets in race number five. Yeah, I think that's uh, the way it is. Uh, if you're going five horses or three horses, well, with my five horses, the, the only number that I don't have is horse number nine, just the guy thing. If he makes a three on the bounce, that will be well played because he's a five-year-old that's in really good form. But it looks like a nice race to play a quartet here. Uh, whatever the result, I think you'll get a useful return on your investment. Race number five, over 1,000 meters. <laughs> The betting, uh, the not so much uh, anymore is more down to my own fault. Uh, I need to, uh, I need to get studying again to to get the edge back. But yeah, it's a great product. I love the exchange. It's uh, it's really, it's uh, in my opinion, one of the better bookmakers, if not the best bookmaker out there. Yeah.